Well, speaking of pitching, we start with John Lennon tonight, and we head out to Dodger Stadium for our first look at Chavez Ravine and Debbie Taylor. And it's a big night, certainly, Debbie, isn't it, for John Lennon? Well, it really is, Byron. John Lennon, along with a lot of the other guys on the pitching staff, is really fighting to stay in the rotation. A lot of decisions are going to be made in the next uh, few days as far as how the rotation goes. And a strong start tonight, and he can try to help guarantee a spot in the rotation. But uh, I asked him about going to AA. He said it was definitely culture shock, but it was something that he needed to do, and it definitely paid some dividends in his last start against Philadelphia. You know, I was able to... Uh, throw the pitch I wanted when I needed to you know I got into some jams but I was able to make the pitches when I needed to and uh, that's something I was lacking uh, in previous starts here so uh, that's something to build on and uh, looking forward to build on that for today when you were sent down to double-a I'm sure that was shocking to you and just mentally you really had to adjust tell us a little bit about that process and getting through it both mentally and physically um, it definitely was a process and um, you know, I had to take it slow. You know, I, of course, I want to get back here as soon as possible, but I knew I had to get better. And um, I told myself just to take one day at a time, build off each day. Uh, if it felt good one day, just take the positive. If I felt bad, you know, just find something to build off of. And, um, you know, I, it was great for me to go down there and work and kind of recollect myself and uh, get my head back and uh, get my stuff back. So I'm glad I'm here and I'm, I'm glad I can help the team now. Randy Tomlin is someone that knows you very well. You've spent time with him before. And just is there anything that you can take from your time with him that's going to really help you stay up here now? You know what? He just, um, he just taught me just to keep it simple. Um, you know, just take one, one, uh, one pitch at a time. Uh, not try to think too much about mechanics when you're out on the mound. You know, you can work on it during the week, but once you get out there, everything mechanical should be a thing of the past and just go out there and, and throw and go with what feels right. You said after the game against the Phillies that being sent down was probably the best thing that could have happened to you. Why? Well, I mean, I could have, I could have gotten better up here, but um, you know, I had a lot of things to work on. You know, my arm didn't feel the same way because of the injury, so I wasn't really trusting my elbow. So, you know, I could have stayed up here and, and battled, but um, I don't think it would have been the best for myself or the team. So, going down there, hanging out with some guys that I played with in the past, you know, really got me to um, have fun playing baseball again you know I, I was struggling there the last couple of starts and uh, just got me back to just going in the field and, and uh, feeling healthy and feeling positive about uh, playing baseball. Do you have a better appreciation for the major league level? Of course you know uh, I think everybody should uh, go to the minors and, and, and have a basis of that so when they get to the big leagues they kind of appreciate everything and I think my appreciation for everything here has grown a lot and not saying I didn't appreciate when they first got here but um, definitely was a culture shock down there but um, like I said the guys down there were great and uh, they welcomed me with open arms the manager was great Randy Knorr and you know just good to be back here and um, just having fun. And finally just your thoughts on pitching in Dodger Stadium against the challenging Dodger lineup. Yeah, I pitched here two years ago, and uh, you know I love that place. Uh, the mound is great, and the fans get into it, and uh, it should be uh, I mean, it should be a good game. And the key for John tonight is to keep the ball down and induce those ground ball outs. One other note to pass along, the Nationals called up Kevin Mensch from AAA Syracuse with Nigel Morgan going on the DL. This will be his first time back in the big leagues since September of 2008. And let's go back now to Byron and Ray for more on Kevin.